nu heb ik hem al. So I've got the Pioneer couplers on this, and there's a 50-50 shot when I put these on, uh, you know, because I don't know which one makes it spin which way, and I probably could if I got really got into it. But what I'm gonna do is just put them on, and I would really like it to auger in when I push the right button, and reverse when I push the left button. So, got a 50-50 shot, we'll see, you know, my luck. So now we got the hoses hooked up, we're gonna run a hydraulic fluid through the unit and get it basically filled up with hydraulic fluid. We'll go forward and reverse quite a, you know, quite a few times to make sure we get all the air out of the system. And then after that, you wanna stop and check your hydraulic fluid on level ground for your tractor because there is some volume in this and you're gonna use some of your hydraulic fluid to fill this up. We're gonna go ahead and put the extension on it. This is just a basically a 12 inch extension, maybe a little bit longer. And the reason being is, is the post hole digger is about three and a half foot long, three and a half feet long, depending on where you're from. And most everything we're gonna do, like if we put posts in the ground or piers in the ground, it's gonna be at least four feet. Now you can get these extensions in any size that you need. Just gotta take into account what is your maximum lift height for your tractor because uh, you know you can get it too long. But uh, yeah, let's quit talking and put this thing together. As I recall, this is a uh, two inch hex. So this is pretty much standard. There's not like a, you know, you can get pick up any of these on pretty much any of the supply stores. I got my pin out of this one. I don't know if I can get that. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this down a little bit. It'll be a little easier for me to slide that up on there. Probably a smarter way to do this. So one thing to notice, like you can see here, we put the cutter head on. That is uh, replaceable, and then all the cutters are replaceable. Nothing, uh, nothing proprietary about this. So you can go to any place that sells augers and probably buy these. So before you start using it, there's a grease point here and a grease point here that's on the, the pivot. So I don't see any grease from the shipping, probably not. Doesn't seem to be, but easy enough, right? If you got a tractor, you're gonna have a grease gun, that's for sure. I got it backwards, 50-50 shot.
what's the odds 50 50 i had a 50 50 chance of getting it right and i got it wrong so now i gotta swap swap pioneer connectors or i could swap hoses but i think it'd make less of a mess if i swap pioneer connectors maybe not i could just swap these i'm sure there is a manual over there in those boxes pretty sure that there are and i probably went online but i didn't read it as normal so I will go ahead and take these off and swap these around because I really want it to auger in when I push the right button. I don't know why. It does not matter, but it matters to me. Well, this is going to make a mess. Not too bad. A little bit, not too bad. Right now I got the hoses as the highest highest part, so oh, I hate that. Got oil everywhere, it's gonna get dirty. I wanna stay new for a day. Hydraulic fluid, it's gotta be like the slickest thing in the world. Oh, I messed up. Well, I remember, I should have remembered that from the first time. So you do the first hose, and then you take this, tighten the first hose up. Because if you don't, you don't have enough room to get your crest wrench, probably most any wrench in there. So you put the first hose on at the top, tighten it down and then that leaves you enough room to tighten the second one in. I, I run into that earlier today. I spilled all over everything in there. I hate that. Got a weep hole for leaks. All right, just let it let it leak out for a little bit. There's a weep hole right there. All right, we've got everything greased. We got everything put together. I have changed the hoses around. Where when I push my right button on my joystick, that it turns, it digs in and left turns out. I don't know why that's important to me, but it is. So dig, let in, reverse out. That's awesome.
So let me give you a list of reasons why I think that the front post hoe digger or front auger mount is so much better than a rear mounted post hoe digger. There's two main reasons that a front mounted auger is easier. The first one is just accuracy. It is a lot easier to be accurate with a front mounted auger. You have so much more flexibility and visibility. A rear mounted PTO post hoe digger has a lot of inherent lateral movement. You can tighten your PTO up uh, as much as you can, but at the end of the day, there's still gonna be a lot of side to side movement. For me personally, the rear mounted post hoe digger is by far the hardest tractor implement to hook up of anything that I've ever had to hook up. It's just cumbersome. You gotta stay tuned, you're gonna see this auger in action as we build the cabin. <laughs> 